Melissa is with us, founder, owner of the Stock Swoosh. Melissa, obviously we've kicked off the new year. We hit some highs, then we sold off. You have um, some names that you think are, are good for the long term. And a name like Target, you said, is a good one for the long term. Why would you pick something like Target in particular? Is it because of a certain trend you might see for the long term? Well, I think long term, there's still COVID hanging out there. So when I say long term, I mean 12 months or longer. I think it's going to be a period of mm -hmm. time here, just like in 2021 and possibly going into 2022, people are going to be concerned about the virus. So what you want to choose is selective stocks to invest your money in, particularly if you're going to go long. And if you've got the stomach to go short, you can short long term, too, for things that are being negatively affected by COVID. But Target is one of these stocks that is moving ahead of the market. Target broke out today, almost ran up to 200. And again, this was not an earnings move that the stock had in the last couple of days. And it was at brand new all time highs today. And this was completely against the backdrop of a market gapping down on impeachment scares and everything else that's happening in the next two weeks. So one of the reasons I like Target is because it has gotten stronger through COVID. Again, remember, people are looking right. to save money. Right now. People are also at home. So they're buying all these goods and products that Target is selling at cheaper prices. And you have some of the other names that were really COVID winners. And people have adopted some new habits. Do you think some of those names, you can name which ones you like, might be some good investments for a long-term play? Well, I, I would watch Netflix, which is coming up soon in the next week on earnings. Even though it sold off today, if that has a blowout earnings record, that could really send the stock skyrocketing. Netflix, even though it's been selling off recently, it's one of those stocks that can turn around like that. And people have been utilizing Netflix because, again, they're home. So they're bored. They're looking for things to do. There's many things were shut down. Movie theaters were closed. So Netflix is definitely a watch on the earnings. I would wait till the earnings come out, wait till the report happens. But Zoom also is another watch. That's had a massive, massive run up. When you look at that stock in the last six months, even it's had a massive run up. That, that sold off again today, too. But it's coming into that 200 period moving average. It's coming into that $300 support level. Let's see how that acts and reacts as we see what happens here in the next, I'd say, 30 to 60 days with COVID. Because the vaccine started rolling out. People are taking it, but they're having some trouble. The states, as far as how they're getting the vaccine out, are having some trouble. So we'll see really what happens in the upcoming weeks with Zoom. Yeah. So, I mean, you talk about some of these great names. I mean, I also think the FANG stocks are interesting. You have Amazon and Apple. Um, you mentioned Netflix. With everything going on at this point, I know that we saw names like Twitter and Facebook selling off today. Are you a FANG fan overall or only certain names within there? Again, selective stocks. I wouldn't lump it in a group and say big tech anymore. And that is going to be what continues this choppy market. Because before in the past, you had all that sector moving together. And then you had it lifting the market, or if they fell, then you had it, the market selling off. You're not going to see that. Even today, you saw the spy was green at one point and the QQQs were red. So you have to focus on selective things. Why are you doing it? Where are you getting right. in? How much are you risking? What is your long-term strategy for what your investment is? Amazon, unfortunately, has gotten into this political freight, freight too. And I am surprised about that because that company has, for the most part, stayed out of it, even though that sold off today. Now there's a lawsuit pending. Uh, was put on today with Parler. I think long term, Amazon obviously is so, so strong. They will withstand any, any. But I mean, Apple has other products and services. So that's one of the reasons why I, I like Apple too. People using their phones yeah. for all kinds yeah. of stuff. With phone. Gotcha. Melissa Armo, thank you. Thank you always. There's a look at the FANG stocks today, folks. A sell off across the board. We'll see what tomorrow brings. Melissa Armo, great to have you on the show. Thank you very much.